So this will be a run of the Nightmare at the Hotel challenge on uh, Made of Scare. This is in the new challenge DLC. Um, basically, this is uh, the hard mode, the hardest challenge. And uh, the enemies are sponges, hit like, uh, hit like a truck, and it's tough. You've got to essentially speed run it and get um, a reasonable amount of kills along the way. So uh, basically, I'm going to talk my way through this. I completed this yesterday. And uh, I wanted to, I wanted to get a video up just sort of illustrating the process that I used, and um, I'll be I'll be moving kind of quickly through the game. The first about half of the challenge, you'll do some fighting to get some kills. The second half, you're really just running past everything to the boss. Um, I'm going to kind of point out the enemies that are worth fighting. Uh, the, the healing vials are important to pick up as many as you can, and of course, ammo that's on the way. Enemy spawns are inconsistent. There's um, usually an enemy right out here. Yep, there he is. For these normal enemies, you want to get a rifle headshot and then finish them off with an axe swing when they charge you. If there's more than one, you're in a in, in trouble. Um, the best you could really do is switch to the shotgun and hope for a headshot, one-shot kill, but I found that to even be inconsistent on the, uh, on the normal enemies. I like to crouch down this stairway because there's often an enemy at the bottom that will hear you if, you, uh, if you're running normally. He's not there. And there's sometimes one or two enemies out here. I'm going to try the old rifle and then switch to the axe. You can press Y to switch to the axe right from the rifle or up on the D-pad. Got him one shot with the shotgun there. Um, again, if you get him right in the head with the shotgun, it will be a one-shot kill. Otherwise, it'll take two shots. A couple dudes in this hallway that I'm going to try to kill. Oh, it's so hard to see. And I want to get the headshot, otherwise he's going to charge me, and the axe won't kill him. Got it, I heard the bell. You'll hear a little, like, minor bell audio cue if you get a headshot. There's often a dude here to the left, and there is. There should be another guy up here to the right. Now I'm going to skip... Um, I'm going to skip going out of my way for revolver ammo. I barely use the revolver in this run. It's worthless. It takes like three headshots to kill a normal enemy with it. So like for example in that um, block door ahead there's rifle ammo but I'm not even going to get it because sometimes there's an enemy there. That was terrible. I wasn't sure if I missed the first shot so I went for a second. Could have been a lot worse. Alright, there's an open area out here. The gate's sometimes closed, sometimes it's open. Looks like we've got two of the lantern enemies. With these guys, you just want to listen for their shot. And, uh... Try to strafe out of the way so it doesn't hit you. We take four chest shots. I just shot the wall there, which was bad. I want to get some distance so he doesn't melee me, but now I'm kind of hung up on terrain. Of course, five shots hasn't killed him. So that was pretty bad, but whatever, good enough. Moving along. Up in this next area, there's going to be one or two guys. Hopefully, you can headshot one without aggroing both if there's two. Try to let him get some separation so maybe, like, the second one doesn't hear the shot. Of course, that wasn't a headshot, so he got some damage on me. Ammo in either of these rooms. This is revolver ammo over here, but I'm just going to grab it since it's right here. Break into this next room. This next room has very inconsistent spawns. Sometimes there's nothing. Sometimes there's a lantern guy. Sometimes there's three normal guys. Here we have, looks like, three normal guys. Again, I don't want to shoot them when they're too close together or they'll both charge me. It's so hard to see. Oh, I swung too early. Took some damage. All right. Again, this room 
It might have a lantern guy. It might have <laughs> random guys. It might have nobody. Yep, it's got the lantern guy. <laughs> we can actually sneak past this guy, so we'll let him go by. He just sort of circuits the table. Or does he? Oh, great. Now I'm just running for it. the machine so on the 10th click it'll paralyze the dudes and I can run past them. That could have gone better but it could have gone worse so I'll just run with it. There'll be two dudes in this room. Ideally they're far away and I can pick them off one at a time. I saw blood but I feel like it wasn't a headshot so he's probably... oh nope it was good enough. There's another one in here. He's hiding behind the corner. Now, the, basically from here we're working our way to an elevator, and you, once you get in the elevator it's safe, so it's possible to run all the way to the elevator, maybe take some damage on the way, and then kill all the enemies that chase you from the safety of the elevator. I like, I find it better to fight these guys off. I missed him. I'm gonna run. Wasn't sure if that first shot hit or missed, so I fired a second. Got kind of lucky. There's gonna be a tonic here, and yeah, from here you can absolutely run to the elevator, but it looks like I can handle it. Maybe. Got a guy behind me punching me. Maybe I'm going to the elevator. You're safe from melee attacks as long as you don't go too far forward. Obviously the uh, lantern guy can still shoot you, so you want to watch out for his shots. He takes like four or five axe swings to kill. Get this ammo, and that's it for the first section. Usually go a little quicker, but should be alright. The next section is going to have a long hallway to an open room. At the end of that hallway, there's often one of the ghostly enemies that it looks like a normal enemy, but once you shoot it or engage it, he like glitches and goes invisible. He takes a lot of shots or melee attacks to kill, so if he's there or whoever might be in the area, I want to shoot the revolver and lure him into the front of the elevator where I can whack away. But again, the enemy spawns are inconsistent, so you never know what you're going to get. It is him indeed. So here he comes. Imagine engaging him normally. Impossible. And usually when you see him, there's like two or three normal enemies also. Whoa! Second act shot didn't kill him. Alright, should be clear now, out here. So I'm going to grab this ammo. I'm going to break open this door. Usually there's a lantern guy in here. Yep, I'm going to wait for him to walk down and back so I can go in, in there and get that tonic. And then I'm just going to backtrack out of there. In this room, could be a ghostly guy, could be one of the women that is just annoying. Looks like there's normal guys, which is good. I'm going to get them to chase me over to the safety of the crawl space. And I can melee them. Alright, so that's that. Through the crawl space, there is a one enemy in this room. Sometimes it's a ghostly version, sometimes it's just normal. Again, I'll use the crawl space. So I think, yeah, I see it's a ghostly one.
Good luck engaging these guys without the safety of the crawl space or the elevator. I probably should heal, but I'm trying to stretch my health refill as far as I can. There might be a second one around the corner here. Sometimes there's only one. Yep, next one in this room will be coming through the door on the left. He might be in the room. Yep, he is. Probably going to take some damage. Good time to heal. There's an ammo and a health refill in here. Um, something to remember is that you can run while you're reloading, so... In a lot of games, you have to walk to reload. There's this uh, lantern guy. Try to get the chest shots on him and strike out of the way there's a shot. There we go. Not too bad. We're about done fighting. We're going to get to the point where we're just going to start running past everything. Actually, we're going to fight through the second leg of this area, if possible. I hear footsteps outside. Luckily, nobody's in here. If this is one of the uh, the ghostly guys, you've got to just run. But it was just a normal guy who's on you quick. There's probably another one to the right here. Yep. Okay, that could have been worse. Could have been better. Sometimes one more around the corner. Yep. He's going to get some damage on me, which is annoying. Kind of taking some damage, but shouldn't be a problem. In here, we're just going to run into this quickly. It's always, almost always that like, teleporting woman that you just forget fighting her. It's basically impossible. Grab the key, probably a ghostly guy. Get through this door quickly and run back to the main area. Don't get damage from him, which is good. On rare occasion, he'll chase all the way, so I'm going to turn around in this hallway where I could run to the elevator if I needed to. He didn't chase. It's usually like three dudes in here when you open this door, and usually the first one's right there. There he is. Second one there. There's probably a third one. There's a revolver ammo, I believe, in this door to the left that I'm not going to bother with. Looks like I don't see a third guy. Usually I feel like there is one. Maybe he's in the hallway here. Nope. Health tonic right in this room. I'm just going to grab it really quickly. And then I'm from here I'm running. I'm going to heal just to be safe. Because this part's kind of precarious. I'm going to run to the key. Could kill that guy. There's really nothing immediately around. I'm going to run to the tonic, then to the key. Then basically all the way through this part. If I could get my cursor on the tonic, that would be great. I can't imagine having to fight all that stuff. So we're basically to the point now where we're not really fighting anything anymore. I'm going to try to get the shotgun ammo, which we'll need for the end. Hopefully I can get away. Alright, that was scary. And then up to the ladder. Alright, in this next section you're going to appear behind a, a really low wall that... I didn't realize at first I was kind of blocked in. You have to leave to the immediate left or immediate right. There's one of the dangerous fire guys out here and uh, random other enemies. What I like to do is crouch and crawl to the, you know, walk to carefully to the left to an ammo and then try to sneak to the, the door to break with the axe so the guys don't get stirred up. It isn't always possible. And then it's a crazy sprint through the next area, picking up some ammo and a healing bottle or two on the way to the crawl space. Lots of things can go wrong in this area in terms of having your path blocked, and uh, this is a what I found to be a, a not uncommon death point for me. So there's the ammo over there on the left. I'm not going to waste a lot of time trying to get it, but it looks like I can go that way without these guys seeing me. This one may see me. Yeah, he's going to see me. Maybe not. These guys have really bad vision. If I run, they're going to... Yeah, i got to run now. Sometimes there's a guy blocking the path right here. I had a waste shotgun shells to get him out of the way. I gotta remember to reload that once I get in the crawl space. Hopefully I don't need it between now and then. This room's crazy. 
Alright, that kind of worked really well. Could have been a lot worse. A lot of action in this hallway, getting chased. Who knows what's in front of you? Just follow the outer perimeter around. Should only be one more enemy in my way. Luckily, there wasn't even one more. Now, what I like to... Oh my god. Oh my god, I barely made it. So, I'm gonna kill these guys, just for the free kills. I think they're more important than the 10 or 15 seconds it's gonna take. Plus, I wanna go out there and get the healing tonic. That guy's got some range, which is really annoying. Alright, good enough. Reload my shotgun as I go through the crawl space. It's gonna be two more health tonics, I believe. So hopefully if I can use one more and get to the boss with six, that'll be really good. Um, a lot of running here in this next part. Yeah, can't possibly engage her. Not even hassling with this. I should have grabbed that ammo, but I didn't. Just running. I need my axe out. Ammo on this desk up here on the right is revolver ammo, so don't even bother. What we're hoping to do is quickly get into the elevator here. You're not safe in this stupid elevator. But I don't think you can die once you hit the button, even if they kill you. I'll just be very low health here, so I'll have to heal right away. And uh, it's kind of a long run through this basement area to the, to the boss. Actually, I think there's three health tonics down here. And again, enemies could spawn um, precariously in a couple places, so you got to be careful. I'm going to let this guy... I was hoping to let him go to the right, but it didn't work out that way, so... You can um, sometimes fight these normal enemies in this path if you can get in here quickly. Right, break the door, grab the ammo, get shot by him, get through this door. I got somebody behind me, I can feel it. Quickly out this door, straight ahead here. Just run past this guy, that was almost really bad. Health tonic here, get your shotgun out in case there's a guy blocking, there is. I'm dead. Nope, I got by somehow. Miracle. I've got to load the shotgun in case there's somebody in the hallway here. That, that section right there was crazy, and there could be somebody in here, too. That was really close. i got to get the key, and then we should be home free here. Bags and bodies just sprint. I really don't want to have to take any damage. So I'm just kind of hauling ass. There, we made it. Okay, so now, I didn't do much talking in that last leg, but you just, you gotta hope for the best because it could be really bad. Like, the guy getting in my way by that tonic, and I shot him with the shotgun, and he didn't die, and I barely was able to chug and, ki and get past him. That was crazy. So this is the boss. The gist with the boss is, kite around, keep just run away from him, keep your distance, put damage on him when you can, and there's three waves of two normal enemies that appear, and they are a priority to take out because they will decimate you, but once you get those six guys killed, the boss is much more manageable. There's some ammo and a couple of healing jugs in the area, and uh, I, I try to shotgun the, uh, the two normal guys as soon as I can, as, uh, if possible. Basically, I'm going to use a shotgun for most of the battle. I'm going to start with the rifle, put rifle shots on this guy. I'm going to try to stay mostly on the far end because the, the little dork enemies spawn at the behind me where I came from. I don't know if they're on a timer or if he takes a certain amount of damage. I think it's a... I think it's a timer. Come. 
so I'm trying to run away, get my shotgun reloaded. He drags you in with the stupid... As soon as he pulls you in, you gotta run away. He's gonna pull me and run. Drink. Should have some normal enemies coming soon. I don't see him yet. Somehow that did not kill him. that he does after he does the the chain pull damages the normal enemies too I've got to deal with these two loose dudes and be screwed there's one there's another killing him now I might not get the good rank on this because it's, it feels like it's taking forever Go. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Alright, so there it is. Your A star rank on Nightmare at the Hotel. You see I had 46 kills. Obviously no deaths. And it was under 20 minutes. So I think your target really for this for the A rank, which it's barely over 100,000 score, which was the requirement for that A star. I'm pretty sure it's under 20 minutes and, let's say, over 40 kills. But I'm not sure how the hits received or the accuracy or any of that matters, but... That's my, that's my process and strategy for completing that challenge, so... Hopefully you can get it done yourself. Good luck, and take care.